Hello, my name is Tommy Ariami. Last year, I shared a word of prophecy that the Lord gave me saying, we have nine years left. Not nine years to the rapture, but nine years to the world as we know it changes forever. And the crisis changes from COVID to climate. I usually start by drawing your attention to previous words I've spoken that have come to pass. But by now, I trust that you, our viewers, are already aware of all of them, and we can continue this journey into 2022. I start my 2022 Word of the Lord by an unusual encounter I had with the Lord. I was going to the kitchen one night late to see if I could get some food. As you may or may not know, my family and I have recently relocated to Africa, namely Nigeria, out of obedience to the Lord. And being in a new house, I could not find my way to the kitchen or the downstairs light. So I decided to use my glow-in-the-dark wristband to help me navigate my way to the kitchen. It was at this moment I reached the kitchen that I heard the Lord say in no uncertain terms, it's time for my people to learn to glow in the dark. I immediately became aware that this was a word from the Lord for 2022 and that the Lord was saying that darkness was not going to go away and that those of you who are hoping that the events of 2020 and 2021 will dissipate in 2022 to bring clearer skies, then you are going to have to learn to be adaptable to a new normal. The new normal being that you are going to have to adapt to glowing in spite of the darkness. After this encounter, I went upstairs to take a shower before bed. Midway through my shower, I was alerted to something glowing out of the corner of my eye. It was a tiny flicker, but distinct enough from the bathroom light for me to notice it. It glowed a lime green, exactly like my wristband did in the dark just moments ago. Startled, I jumped out of the shower and to my surprise, what was giving off this radiant fluorescent lime light was none other than a firefly, which is incredibly rare in the area of Nigeria where we reside. I immediately called my wife to observe and even film it for me as it flew around, glowing in the dark, the Holy Spirit prompted me to what he said to me only minutes ago. It was as if he did not want me to miss it. I realized that this rare sighting was actually a sign and a wonder by the Lord to confirm something he had spoken to me. The Lord says, you are now in the day where just like the firefly, which is small in size, that the least of you will be as the house of David, and the greatest of you will be as God. For I will allow the darkness to get darker. I will cause it to consume even those that thought they were light. I will flick a switch and suddenly darkness will give way to gross darkness. And many will say how the conspiracy theories were not theories at all. The season shall not change, but shall overlap and give way to new divisions. Vax versus anti-vax shall give way to vaccine card versus anti-vaccine card, shall give way to chip versus anti-chip. Many shall look at the new formats and fear government overreach as men clamor for data. Did I not declare, look at the sand and count them if you can? For so shall your seed be, which cannot be counted. Look deeper and see, declares the Lord. This is not about a vaccine. This is about a census and a count, a number and a tally. For the one who has the count has the control. For darkness will be the joy of the remnant. These shall shine effortlessly in a dark world, for they have been with me, and as light they shall shine in the darkness and men shall run to their light.
of even the smallest light I will not put out, declares the Lord, but it shall shine in spite of darkness, for there will be strange signs in the sky, strange as though if it were possible, it could even deceive the elect, but I will show the lying signs that my light burns brighter. Father, I just pray for those watching today. Lord, you said a smoldering candle you will not put out. Father, I pray in this season of 2022, strike a match on the inside of every one of our spirit that doesn't make us flames on fire. Lord, it makes us flames of fire. In Jesus' name. Then the Eight years left, the Lord says. The clock is ticking. Eight years for the new ecclesia. Eight years for a new world order. Eight years are determined for the body. And many will say, do not take on the metaverse. It is wicked. But I will say, it is a captivity that even my hand is in. And I will echo the words I spoke through Jeremiah, saying, build houses and settle in them. Plant vineyards and enjoy them. And the Lord says, for the captivity shall be a season, but in the midst of it, I know the thoughts and plans I have towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Africa shall see its new dawn, for the plumb line is in the hands of a hidden Davidic army that shall emerge suddenly.